Do you see yourself and, I, and would you ever consider being the conduit to that third party? Because I don't know if, if the Republican Party, as we, as we knew it, will survive this. Because if he ever gets in again, we'll never have any more elections. There will be no more. He will stop it. And, and he's very clear about that. He wants to be dictator for life. Okay? So I wonder, would you ever consider, please, would you please <laughs> consider yeah. being that person? Because I got to tell you. Did you notice that? Did you, did you notice? I thought that, that was fascinating. Whoopi says he will be a dictator for life. He, there will be no more elections if Donald Trump wins. Silent. Radio silent. What did she say? In, in order, she said, because there will be no elections if he wins. Nothing. And I think Whoopi thought this is an applause line. And then she goes, well, 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 there's nothing. Nobody's clapping. Then she goes, because he will be a dictator for life. He said so. Well, one, no, he didn't. And maybe two, that's why nobody clapped at that either. And they finally clapped and laughed when Whoopi said, please, will you run, please, for me? Which is obviously a joke. Whoopi Goldberg wouldn't vote for Liz Cheney. But holy cow, isn't that fascinating? What, a couple things going on. Does she actually buy this? I think so. I think Whoopi Goldberg actually thinks, one, that Donald Trump apparently is immortal. Like, I don't know if that's like part of what she thinks. Like he's gonna live forever. He, no, dude, the dude's, what, 78, 79 years old? I forget that specifically. But uh, he's not a spry spring chicken. That dude is very old too. I try to look at this objectively too, because in a perfect world, I think uh, probably Donald Trump isn't the candidate for the Republican Party, at least in my perfect world. It'd be easier, I think, to win with most other people on the conservative side of the aisle. That's, that's not to say that I have anything against Donald Trump. I'm just looking at this as a political operative. Like, who's going to be easily, more easily elected in, 20, in this fall of 2024 on the Republican side? Donald Trump's probably not the easiest person to get through into the White House, which is the only thing I really actually care about, conservative values getting back into the White House. But from that standpoint, if you're looking at it as, well, he's going to do this and that and this and that, I think his only goal here is to be a two-term president. As a person who who's like not the most thrilled that he's running again. You actually think that he wants to do another however long he lives in the White House? Oh, it sounds like a not that fun of a job. You could not pay me enough money to be the president of the United States. And yeah, there are some ego components in there as to why I think he's actually running. But at the end of the day, to one say that he will be a dictator for life, like I genuinely don't think he would actually want to do that. I think he likes the clout of being president, but actually doing the job, why would it, why would you want to do that? I, I don't know. But I, I also understand that people are built differently. But to that, then I would say, we'll, when she says, we'll never have another election in our life, do you think he's an immortal being? No, dude, he's 80 years old too. He's not gonna be around forever. I don't think I'm cynical enough to think that somebody could be that cynical as to play so hard to one side that they can't figure out that uh, the audience isn't there. So because of that, I think she's actually serious.